Hi everyone, it is me, Malaysia, with Drown and Talk with Beauty. So, um, I want to first and foremost say hello to everyone, um, and a special hello to my new subscribers. I know I haven't posted on here in a while, but um, I have been trying to, um, especially the last few weeks because I got a lot of new subscribers. I'm now at, I think, 100 or 101, um, and I'm very thankful, um, especially like since I haven't posted in a while. It just makes me excited to see like how much more I can grow um, once I really do post. Um, so that's what we're doing. We're trying to get back on track. Today is Tuesday. Um, I try to post like hair related content on Thursdays and then more casual vlog like lifestyle content on Sundays. but. This is what I can do right now. Um, I do have hair content, but I'm having trouble getting it from my phone. Um, so please just bear with me. Um, so yeah, so today is Tuesday. Um, it's a me day, me, just me. Um, I went to the gym this morning. I worked out with Trey. Um, I came home, I had some work to do with Imani. I showered, I just finished eating. All right, so we are at the mall. I did not flat iron my edges. Oh, I need to look at the directory. Give me one second. All right, guys, so I'm about to head into Big Lots um, to hopefully find some decorations. Um, I don't really have time to like, you know, find decorations and stuff. So, um, I'm really glad that I was able to like take today and do that. My camera kind of cut off when I was, um, saying that, you know, actually I'll, I'll explain soon when I leave the store. I already turned the car off and I'm just really hot right now. So, um... The clips may bounce like back and forth, but I'll explain what I was saying before, um, after we leave Big Lots. Today is Saturday. It's Saturday morning. I am having my coffee and I'm also working on some affirmations that I'm going to put up on my affirmation wall. Um, so I'm about to start writing them down. This is something I've always wanted to do like once I moved out. Um, and I feel like I don't know I'm such a private person and I just feel like something so intimate as like affirmations like something that's so dear to like um, what I want for myself and what I'm working on within myself is so private I think my camera's about to die um, I just Maybe I'll share it with you once it occurs, like once it occurs. It's just like the whole evil eye thing, like I may put something or let's say I have affirmations and I, ha and I also have manifestations, like I don't want to say like I will get this new car, like people really like prey on stuff like that. Like. Like, I don't know, I just don't want any evil eye. And I've heard evil eye when I've heard like Nigerians talk about it, like it's something within their culture. 
and if you know me i feel like if i got the dna test i would probably be nigerian and essentially it's like just be careful who you share your wants and desires with because you may never know they may just put it out there to kind of sabotage it so i don't know i'm just private in general i think it's a scorpio thing um that's one thing i do know for sure so all right everyone so today is saturday and right now i am getting ready for work i don't have that much time so i kind of need to hurry up um so yeah um this is kind of awkward i don't know what to talk about with you guys right off the bat but um I guess we can talk about like, I don't know, I guess like a life update. I've never actually even told you guys a lot about my life, but, um, so, I'm Malaysia, I am 25. I am a former teacher. I am now a licensed cosmetologist. I work for small businesses virtually. I do a lot of like administrative work. Um, things that they may not have time to do, don't know how to do. Um, Things that they may not have time to do. Um, things that they may not know how to do. So, um, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm learning a lot about, you know, myself along this journey. And uh, I feel like it's giving me experience in terms of, like, where I want to go in my career. Um... So, yeah, which is essentially working. Ugh, I'm so weird about like just sharing about myself, especially like things that I want for myself. Because as earlier before this morning, when I was talking about my affirmation cards, I really think that like people sometimes just have negative things like... They sometimes just, I don't know, it's so weird, but it's just evil eye. What Nigerians say, like, I just don't want anyone to wish bad on me or try to sabotage like what I want for myself. So, I don't know, okay, I'll just say it. But essentially, I would like to work in corporate for like a large beauty brand um, and I, I guess I shouldn't say large because now I work for um, small businesses so um, you can have the same profit even more with small businesses as well um, but going through cosmetology school first and foremost like it was part of my business plan. If you don't know, I had a, or still have, an online beauty supply store. And um, I wanted to learn more about, you know, hair care. So I took it upon myself to go to cosmetology school to help, you know, myself understand more, understand what I needed to know. So that's what I did, and when I graduated, I began working in a salon. Um, it was never, you know, my intentions, it was never my goal to like work in the salon, it kind of just happened. Um, and it wasn't until like recently I realized, I'm like, you know, why? why am i in the salon like it wasn't even in my business plan 
Like, how did I get here? Um, because, yeah. Um, I'll talk about this, you know, a little later when I'm no longer in the salon. But there are some aspects of it that I just don't really like. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, but I'm not going to talk about it because, yeah, it's just you don't do that um, when you're a professional. You don't do certain things. Really quickly, I'm about to change my top. When my, what's it called? When my thing is like setting, I like to do something else and then come back to it once it's kind of tacky. All right, so I am ready for work. I feel like this blazer is too dressy, but who cares? I look like, oh my curls are just, I feel like I look like a bombshell babe, so I mean, okay. All right, I just literally need to leave out, so let me just you know get myself together and go. Alright guys, so um, today is Sunday, the day that this vlog will be going up. Um, it's 1.50. I kind of have a late start to my day because I stayed in bed a little too late. But um, it was worth it because I don't really get to do that. So I really enjoyed it. I just slept out of Ulta. Um, is it just me or is Ulta just like very awkward? Like, it seems like Sephora, it can kind of be awkward in there too, but um, it's less awkward because like, I feel like Sephora, like probably, this is just my assumption, I'm not completely sure, but I think more black, like, I don't know, it's like, Employees at Sephora try to sugarcoat their uncomfortableness whenever they see a black person come in. Um, and they even have, you know, black employees. Whereas, like, Ulta, you know, they may have some black employees, but it's also not a shocker if you walk in and you don't see black employees. Um, but also with Ulta, like, they don't sugarcoat their uncomfortableness like it was awkward i almost wish i was recording but i know in sephora you can't record so i just assumed that and also you can't record either but when i walked in um she was just so energetic she was like hi welcome to Alta." like when i turned to like see like who was talking to me like i could tell that she had already had her back turned and was walking away um and i could assume that like probably once she realized that you know i was black that was kind of like when she kind of like yeah um so yeah it was just awkward and I could sense the uncomfortableness because when I walked in, there were other employees standing near the entrance and they chose to ignore me and not greet me. Um, so, yeah. All right, so we are finishing dinner. Um, I am now at my mom's. So we are having... I'm so excited to eat now. I really wasn't that hungry, but now I am. Um,
the rice is cooking now we already had cabbage that was already cooked so we're gonna eat cabbage as well and i'm about to go shower and get ready for the real housewives so that once i'm ready to eat like i can just sit and watch the real housewives and we're going to do a quick review of the real housewives tonight i just rewinded i'm starting from the beginning and uh, let's see what happens this week giselle and robin are like i know they have always gotten on people's nerves i've kind of been able to you know block them out of my mind like i don't know i feel like that's one of my good attributes like i can just like block negative things and people and put them in the back of my mind but i feel like this season it's a bit different um it's a bit different. I don't like how they're treating the other ladies. So, yeah. Okay, so, um, we just finished The Real Housewives and it was kind of slow. Like, hold on, I kind of want to get cute for you guys. These are my pajamas. Okay, so I just wanted to look semi-decent as I closed the vlog out, but um, it was kind of slow, um, which I guess it kind of makes sense because last week's episode was kind of like, they gave us a lot. I guess it shouldn't make sense. I feel like they should put their all into every episode, but um, I kind of feel bad for Wendy. Um because she's dealing with like Karen who she thought she could trust and then also Giselle and Robin and also just hypothetically like who knows what's going on in her actual marriage um but Robin is going out sad she really is um in her relationship and in her friendship and I feel like she's riding for Giselle but I don't think Giselle would do the same for her, or I kind of just question if she would. Um, so there's that. Yeah, I don't know what to say about anyone else. Candace is not in any drama right now. Mm. What's her name? Mia. I like Mia. I really do. Um, it's just that if you're going to pass the bone you have to be accurate with the information so that kind of thing can you know get you in trouble but other than that i like her that's all i have to say about this episode um i don't know i don't know what else to say um but I definitely feel like this is a good season so far. I think it's a lot better than The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, hopefully next week's episode is like a bit more fulfilling. Um, the previews, it did seem a bit fulfilling. Um, so yeah. I feel like my energy is so different now. Typically, like as it gets later at night, I'm just very mellow because I'm like winding down for bed but um I'm just going to edit this vlog upload it do some other work just basically do work until I fall asleep um I'm sorry if this vlog was not as entertaining um there is like a lot of intention behind the things that i put out and i think that's why this youtube is doing better than the other one because i just didn't know what i was doing but also my goals i guess i just it was to get myself out there so i really wasn't looking for growth but with this channel i am a bit more intentional about like the videos i post 
So, um, as I said before, Thursdays will be more so like beauty based, like cosmetology content. Whereas like Sundays, um, I hope to have more casual videos. Like it may not always be a vlog, like, um, just something more casual. Um, more so I guess about, you know, the lifestyle. So, um, there's that. My intention behind this vlog was to just come back and introduce myself to my new subscribers. And thank you guys. Um, I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, now that I'm getting back out there and I'm a, I'm a lot more serious about consistent uploads, I promise to like at least do one activity a week. Um, or something just interesting and take you guys along. Um, something I have in mind, I've been talking with my therapist about this, but just like going out by myself. It's something I used to do a lot, but I haven't done it lately. But I kind of miss that moment of solitude with myself. Um, just navigating a space by yourself. I feel like you kind of interpret experiences differently when you're by yourself. Um, and if you know me, I'm kind of like a person who's very in tune with herself. Like I could be with a group of people, but still be in my own mind. So, um, I just miss being by myself in public. So it also builds confidence. Um, and I guess I, I can't admit I will be vulnerable. Like, I feel like. I'm not as confident in myself right now, which is something that I don't like. So um, I just like to think of new things or new ways to like make myself a bit more uncomfortable to like feel more comfortable depending on myself in weird or new situations. So um, I'm used to doing things by myself and it started in college. Um, I would probably go get food by myself. I would go to the $5 movie nights by myself on Tuesdays at Valley View. Um, what else did I do by myself? As of lately, I've been getting ice cream by myself. But I feel like that doesn't count because I just go get the ice cream and eat it at home. But, um, yeah. So... Um, I'm going to show you guys my dinner and um, I'll show you guys the cookies that Fred is making for me. What kind of cookies are they, Fred? They're Oreo cookies. So to close off the vlog, you guys will see my dinner and my dessert. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, thank you, and I will see you next Sunday. Well, I'll see you Thursday, and then I'll see you guys on Sunday as well.